GTI is an R&D and training organization for the energy industry and is also the industry center for Keyhole Technology Innovation. Utilities, highway agencies, and municipal transportation officials are faced with the task of continually repairing and maintaining buried utilities in a timely, cost-effective manner. One method that's been developed to meet these needs is keyholing. Keyholing is a minimally invasive, low-impact way to access buried utilities for the purpose of locating, inspecting, or to perform utility operations through the use of specialized, long-handled tools. This video focuses on a steel service abandonment with a brass plug insert. It's important to follow all safety procedures laid out by your company while performing these operations. This video is merely intended to serve as a guideline. Once the underground utility is exposed, perform the abandonment operation using the appropriate long-handled tools. First, use a grinder to remove the protective coating from the pipe in the cap of the tee. Make sure to use your foot as a guide to control the grinder while it's underground. If the tee has a brass plug, remove the service tee cap. First, loosen it up with a long-handled adjustable wrench. Attach your stuffing box to the tee. Make sure it screws on smoothly so as to not cross-thread it. Take your brass insert tool and lower it into the stuffing box. The magnetic attachment will thread into the brass plug. Once they're screwed together inside the stuffing box, use a socket extension to remove the brass plug from the tee. Close the main valve on the stuffing box to cut off the gas flow from the main and then open the top of the stuffing box to release the pressure. Unlock the extension and pull out the brass plug from the stuffing box. Next, you'll need to insert an expander plug to stop off the flow of gas to the service line. Mark your stab depth, which should be right below the service inside the T, and then insert the plug. Once the plug is in, release the valve to ensure that there is no gas flow. Now the service can be cut. Use a saw to make your first cut away from the T. Use your foot to guide the saw and keep it from running along the pipe. Make your second cut closer to the T. Make sure it's straight so that it can be threaded cleanly. Use a pry bar to push down the leftover service pipe. This will allow more working space underground. Use a threading tool to re-thread the service stub. It's helpful to use a tool like a shovel to apply pressure to the back of the threading tool. This will help keep the thread straight. Screw the cap onto the new thread. Once you get it started, use a pump handled adjustable wrench to completely tighten the threaded cap. If it pumps smoothly, you've hit the threads correctly. Alternatively, a compression cap can be used to cap off the service. Mark your stab depth and slide the cap on to get it started. And use a long handled wrench to completely tighten it down. Remove the expander plug from the stuffing box. Now use the brass insert tool to reverse the process and reinstall the brass plug. It's very important to keep the metal parts lubricated throughout the process to restrict binding. Once the plug is reattached, bleed the gas out of the stuffing box and remove the insert tool. Open the valve to ensure that there's no gas flow. Unscrew the stuffing box and remove it from the tee. Use a universal cap tool to screw the cap back onto the main. Once it's been started, use a long-handled wrench to tighten the cap all the way down. 
soak the tea to check for leaks and if necessary use a wax wrap to cover the pipe. For additional videos on keyhole technology, visit www.gtikeyhole.com. The development of this video is made possible with the support of our keyhole members.